Well, we're back on the Lincoln Versailles. Uh, trying to get this gas tank in. It's been an ordeal. Uh, Lincoln's on the uh, on the lift there. It's been on the lift for going on a month now because I uh, couldn't find all the parts I needed. I mean, things like this sending unit, it came in wrong. There's the junk that came out of it. You should have saw the gas tank. It had like two inches of varnish and piled up rust in it. Okay, here we are. Getting the tank, the new gas tank in the old Lincoln versus Flies. Or, or Silas, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you know. Uh, been a task getting the right parts for it. Still not sure about the sending unit. I'll show you that a little bit later of what we had to do to make this work. But I think we've got it. Here we are. Get ready to bolt her in. Just in case you ever have to do one of these, this is another thing you're going to run into. When you're trying to get the filler neck back in, you're going to have to go inside and you're going to have to remove this this right here because it's going to restrict you getting your neck back in. So you take that off and put it on your neck and then you slide your neck down into your garment for your gas tank. Just one of those things going in there later well here it is we got the, we got the filler neck in I've got it screwed in yet but I'm going to get everything tightened up before I uh, before I screw that in and then, then this is what it looks like on the inside we get some light in there so you can see see how your garments all somewhat fit I mean, you know, all this stuff is aftermarket stuff, so you got to work with what you got. But I think it'll uh, it'll all work. And I got a little gap right there. I think I can I think I can get that sealed in. But there we are. We got it in. That's the main thing. Here we got the tank in the Lincoln. Uh, the reason we had to change this tank, I'm going to show you something right here. The tank is outside. This is the old filler neck. See where it went down into the tank? Well, that is just an example of what the tank looks like. This is the old sending unit. What's left of it? And it appears this tank has been changed before. So this ain't the first tank has been put in it because this is not the correct stuff. So anyway, until we get the sending unit in, talk to you later. Well, here we are in the shop again. Uh, still working on this old Lincoln Versa. Oh uh, yeah, that's a Versa, all right. Uh, don't know what got into me when I bought this thing, but here we are. Let me show you what we did yesterday. We finally got the fuel pump. I mean, not the fuel pump, but the sending unit and the fuel tank. We got it all in. And we finally got all the leaks stopped and got everything working. Well, when we got the cranking on it this time, it, we went sit there and idle and run fairly decent, you know, still having some problems try to give it a little bit of gas and it just wants to shut down so I'll show you what we now are getting ready to go into and see what we can find out next step on the Lincoln Versailles now we're up in the engine room and uh, yep looks like we're going to pull the carburetor and maybe do some cleaning and figure out what's going on because when you try to give it gas it just kind of like wants to die and not keep running and this is the next step we'll see what happens so here is where we are old carburetor getting ready to come off we'll tear into it see what's gummed up stopped up 
This car looks like it had a new carburetor put on it when it was parked 10 years ago. But it's been for 10 years and, you know, cobwebs and spiders and mice and whatever else is trying to come up in here is probably been all around in there. So until we get this done, talk to you later. Well, finally, we got the Versailles running again. But uh, hopefully got all the bugs and issues straightened out. We're going to know we're getting ready to take it on a maiden, uh, maiden voyage. Can't speak today. I don't know. It's probably the weather. Anyway, here she is running pretty good. We'll find out here in about five minutes. I'll keep you informed. Well, I said maiden voyage a moment ago. Actually, this is the third time she's going out of the garage. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you know how she does as soon as I get her out of the bay here and up on the road. Well, here we go. Heading up the driveway. I'll flip her around here and let you see where we're headed. So far, she's doing very well, and all we can do is, is hope. Side of the square tires, yeah, feels like I'm riding on a washboard. She's doing real well. I'm gonna take on down the road a little bit here and uh, I'll get back with you. Well, we're gonna pull around here on the road and see if she has no burnout. I gotta get it in drive first. I'm about to back into a fence. No, it wouldn't have been no good, would it? All right, let's see if these square tires will light them up. Oh, no, no light them up. But she's taking off like a cat with fire on her tail. Let's stop and try that again. And we on a wet road. Ah, there we go. We got a little rubber. All right. Hey, but she is running great. We're getting ready to do a real burnout because I figured it out. Watch this. Oh yeah, baby. That's a little burnout, but we got her done. <laughs> 